From the application, we're going to go ahead and go to GL Budgets. This is the out-of-box functionality within Business Central. If I search GL Budgets, I'm going to go ahead and create a new one. From here, you can see um, you have multiple budgets, whether you have a new version due to changes or various versions based on other parameters such as dimensions. You can manually update the columns within Business Central or export to Excel, make the changes, and re-import. First, let's go ahead and create a new budget. I'm going to go ahead and name mine as 2022 V2 for version 2. And you should see that the global dimension one and two are um, predefined by the general ledger setup. All right, let's go ahead. I'm gonna go up to my process and edit budget. From here, you can see I have a biz, our budget matrix for my GL accounts based on my dates. I'm gonna go ahead and update the date filter here to 2022. And this is using the filter criteria. All right, so in order to manually update the budget, I'm just gonna go ahead and enter some amounts for my income services. One thing to keep in mind is to use your debits and credits um, properly. So your income accounts are gonna be credits where your expense accounts are gonna be debits. I'm gonna go ahead, so I have $4,000 total that I've entered from January through April for our income services. If I scroll down to my COGS, I'm going to go ahead and enter my labor of $750. Whoops, $750 for those same um, periods here. And I'm going to scroll down a little further and I can go ahead and enter my rent. So once I have income COGS and expenses um, entered, if I scroll down, I can see my net income. I'm going to go ahead and drill into my rent expense of $400. You can see here that it's got the budget name, the date, the GL account, um, and the description department and customer group codes are blank, but then you'll see the dollar amount of 100. If I needed to enter it manually based on my um, dimensions, I'm gonna go ahead and filter my department down below to admin. I'm gonna go ahead and enter $100 for my rent. I'm gonna go ahead and change it to sales and enter that $100. Now, if I remove that filter, I should see a total of $1,200 for my rent expense. And if I drill into that, I will see that in January, I entered $100 with no department code, $100 with the admin department code, and $100 with the sales department code. All right. I'm gonna go ahead now and show um, with using the edit um, or the export to Excel. So if I go up to our actions, functions, export to Excel, it's gonna say what my start date is. I wanna do a start date of 1-1-2022. I want 12 periods and I want one month. In this case, because I have values entered for my department code, it says that I want to bring those in. I'm gonna allow that. I'm gonna go ahead and filter just on our income statement accounts using the criteria, the filter criteria. All right, so let's go ahead and open this in Excel. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and enable and I'm gonna expand my cells so we can see all of it here. You'll see that it brought in the $1,000 that I had manually entered it brought the 750 for the cost of labor and then my rent. You'll see that there's multiple lines for rent expense because of those dimension values. I'm gonna go ahead and add a thousand to the remaining months for my income. I'm gonna add some product sales for all periods. I'm gonna increase my labor to $800 just so we can see how that um, updates the system. All right, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and copy over my rent. All right, so the, I'm gonna go ahead and save this and going back to Business Central, we're gonna import it. So from Business Central, I'm in the budget that I want to be in, the 2022 version two, go up to my actions, functions, and import from Excel. 
In this case, I can say I want to replace entries or add entries, and then the description. The description by default says imported from Excel and the work date. So in my case, I'm in Cronus and my work date's 4-12-21. I'm going to go ahead and say this add the entries. Um, I don't want to replace them. All right, and let's go ahead and choose our file. And yes. Um, so it will say that I've um, updated 72 entries. Go ahead and say okay. All right, so now if we go ahead and drill into our budgeted amount for um, the rent expense, you'll see that here's our January. These are the ones I manually entered, and I know that because it does not have a description. Here's the amount that was imported um, because that description is there. And you should see that for January, February, March, and all the way through. If I go ahead and I'm going to say that, oops, I only wanted $300 for January, $300 for February, and $300 for March, $300 for April. Now that budgeted amount updated as well. So if I go ahead and drill into that, you will see that it's got the $300 on this line here for January. And so it's saying it was um, adjusting it by $300. So you'll see the original entries and then a single line for that adjustment with that entry number. It does not remove the original, it just adds on that um, adjustment. All right, if I wanted to filter just by admin, once I'm looking at it, I can change it to admin and only see those lines associated with my admin department code. In Business Central, you're also able to copy an existing budget. So I'm going to go up to my Actions, Functions, Copy Budget. So in this case, I'm saying what budget am I copying from and um, what budget am I going to copy to? In this case, I'm going to copy my version 2. Um, I'm going to go ahead and keep it at my GL accounts for my income um, and then my date range. And then if I wanted to include dimensions, I could go ahead and say, let's go ahead and add our department dimensions. The budget name, if you do the drop down, I'm going to go ahead and do a plus new and do a 2022 version 3. And having the global 1 and 2 um, capped as is. All right. Um, so in this case, the apply, this is where you can adjust the factor if you're saying that I want to increase my budget by 2% or if I want to decrease my budget by 2%. By default, it's going to say 1%. In this case, I could say, I wanna adjust it by 2%, so that's at 1.02. In this case, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it at one and go ahead and say, okay. Do you wanna start copy? Yes. Then it's gonna say it was successfully copied. When I go back to um, Business Central, I'm still in version two, so I can go ahead and go back one level and select the version three and edit the budget. Again, nothing came in because I'm looking at 2021 right now. So let's go ahead and change this to 2022. All right, so here's our amounts and I can drill into it and see the dollar amounts associated with it. I can go ahead and go up to my actions and let's copy that again. And in this case, I wanna go ahead and just um, use my expense accounts. So if I go select from full list, I'm going to filter by expenses. I'm going to select the top line, which is at 60,001. I know my last number is 61,995. Um, similar to other places in Business Central, you do need to use the um, filter criteria of your dot dot. So in this case, I'm saying my expense accounts, I want to increase by 2%. Gonna go ahead and say okay. And budget successful. So if I go back into my version two, or my version three, sorry. If I scroll down, you'll see my rent expense increased by that 2%. So it's $7,272. And you should see that 100 is now 102. Once you have your budget completed within Business Central and you have your multiple versions, you're able to use the budget in your um, to compare to actual amounts 
Keep in mind that with the multiple versions, you do need to select which budget you want to compare to. This is true on your account schedules. It's true on your trial balance. If you run the GL accounts um, to budget, just make sure that you're indicating the correct budget. If you go um, to, if we look at our 2021 budget, and if I go up to my reports, my trial balance um, by budget, I can go ahead and um, run my trial balance by budget. In this case, let's go ahead and do our date budget of 3121 through 331 of 21. And I want to select the budget that I want to compare. So I'm looking at 2021 and I can go ahead and print. You should see your net change for actuals um, and your percent of the budget. If I scroll down to look at my rent, I show that there's a rent expense of 1,000, 100% of the budget because the budget amount is 1,000. From the budget itself, if I go back up to my process edit, I can also run the related balance from the um, budget matrix. So if I go ahead and look at March 1st of 21 through March 31st of 21, I can go ahead and see, I'd see the debit, the credit, and my budget amount. If I scroll down to rent expense again, I can drill into that $1,000 and see the general ledger entry associated with it. But easily able to see that 1,000 was the um, actual, the budget amount is 1,000, and the balance to the budget is 100%. from the chart of accounts, being able to look at your GL accounts. If you go to your um, related balance and your GL balance to budget or GL account balance to budget. Again, reminder just to make sure that if you have multiple versions of the budget to select the correct budget um, to compare to actuals. So that is an overview of GL budgets within Business Central using out-of-box functionality.